The Canadian Armed Forces has confirmed that one of its part-time soldiers is being investigated for links to a white supremacist group. At a news conference a short time ago, he was identified as Master Corporal Patrick Matthews. He has worked at an armory in Winnipeg and has some training in the use of explosives. The RCMP confirms that a search warrant was executed in Beausejour, Manitoba, and weapons were seized. Earlier media reports say he was a member of a racist organization called The Base. But a military spokesperson couldn't verify that. Here's what the military can verify. He is a Class A soldier and he last worked in May. So he's basically only paraded with his unit for twice in May, which is pro approximately about six hours. And at that point, we weren't aware that uh, there were any issues. Um, and I just also wanted to tell everyone he does have full-time civilian employment as well. Uh, the unit is not scheduled to come back to work until September. Um, I wanted to also ensure everyone that Master Corporal Matthews has no ability to obtain explosives through the military and he does not have the authorization and he doesn't hold any of the requisite qualifications in order to draw any type of explos explosives. He has no access to weapons. He has some very rudimentary training on explosives, as any combat engineer would. So he basically has a basic understanding of demolition, and he has only access to these types of things on sanctioned military exercises. The Winnipeg Free Press was the first to report that the soldier is a recruiter for a white supremacist organization that wants to spark a race war. The CBC's Gillian Taylor has more on how this story developed. The Canadian Armed Forces says it is completely unacceptable for any of its members to participate in groups or activities that promote hate, violence or discrimination. Right now, it is investigating the possibility that a Manitoba member is involved in racist extremist activities. It won't say the details of the investigation at this time. However, the Winnipeg Free Press is reporting the man in question is a reservist in Winnipeg and is actively recruiting for a group called The Base. One of its journalists went undercover posing as a recruit to expose this story. Posters advertising the group have been spotted around Winnipeg for the last number of weeks and there has been an organized effort by Fascist Free Treaty 1 to tear the posters down. You know we posted it up and within minutes there was action like people were out to look for them and tear it down and, and yeah so it just it was really it was a really rapid response and I'm super proud of the community the response has been fantastic. The Canada Anti-Hate Network says the base is small with less than 100 members. Its executive director Evan Balgord says the base encourages its members to get military training. We're talking the most extreme of the extreme. We're talking uh, a neo-Nazi death cult, a terrorist group. Um, they worship mass killers uh, and they want to carry out uh, terrorist attacks to accelerate what they see as a coming race war um, in Canada and the United States. Belgord says the military must take this group seriously. He puts members of the base on par with ISIS. The Canadian Armed Forces says immediate action will be taken if the investigation finds evidence of racist extremist activities, which could mean legal and disciplinary measures, including release from the military. Gillian Taylor, CBC News, Winnipeg.